Hi everybody, how you doing? It is the week of October 2nd. I'm Adam. And I'm Melissa. And this is Lohan Lips. Hey. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. I'm excited for tonight. We're going out. We're That's going why out. we're dressed like this. It's forcing me to go to places I do not want to go. And but... he's forcing me to go with people I don't want to go with. <laughs> so what's first up? Last week we talked about Rihanna. She has a new single, We Found Love. Um, she was recording her video this week in Ireland. Northern Ireland, you know, a little farmer allowed Rihanna and the crew to film the video on his, you know, land, his Farm. acreage. And uh, I don't know if she was full. Her her titties were out. The fact that this wasn't the first, like, for only girl in the world. Isn't that video just her, like, skipping around a field pretty yeah, much? Yeah, she's done the field thing. Yeah. So um, over it. Anyway, the boobs were too much, so the the farmer came out and had second thoughts. And he told them to get the hell out. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. Any celebrity that wants to come use my apartment, my whatever, you're welcome to. So, very exciting. We have a new segment, Trashy Celebrity Recipes. These are recipes from the actual celebrities. These are their recipes that they endorse. Love it. Fresh out the oven, straight sugar love. For the first installment of Trashy Celebrity Recipes, kind of an unexpected uh, celebrity as yes, T-Boz. Yeah. For the kids that don't know, she is one third of the 90s supergroup TLC. And in 1999, uh, T-Boz released a book of poetry, Thoughts, okay? And a lot of people don't know is that I was the biggest TLC fan as a teenager. Turn to page 125 from the bottom. Who is that? Adam Duran, and that is me. Underneath, who are you underneath? Uh, probably, you know, LaShonda Williams or something. I've recently prayed. <laughs> but for no reason at all, at the end of this book, there is a recipe for uh, t Boz's Dorito Taco Casserole, mm. uh, which... Um, we're making it right now. We're making it right now. We're gonna put the recipe down below if you wanna cook it at home. For this recipe, you're gonna need... You're gonna throw that all in a casserole, put it in the oven at whatever temperature you want, and wait till that crap melts, okay? And here is what the final product looks like. And here you go, folks. <laughs> this, this is the Red Light Special. T-Boz Dorito Taco Casserole. This is our first tasting. Are you ready? First tasting. Here's <laughs> brunch. If Taco Bell had a gourmet line, this is what it would taste like. And T-Boz and chili and, and left eye, may she rest in peace, <laughs> sitting around with their uh, Dorito Taco Casserole. I don't know how I feel about the cooked lettuce aspect of this dish. I like it. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Anthony Bourdain. I love you, T-Bosh! Fresh out the oven, straight sugar loving. So, what else? Are you watching TV? Um, of course I'm watching TV. <laughs> I watch every single show. On Monday, we started out with Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars is good this season. Um, unfortunately, Elizabetta got voted out, which we were really starting to love because she's just kind of... She's bitch. You know, she's got that Italian bravado and just kind of bitchy. She's just kind of like not into it. Um, Nancy Grace had the nip slip. The nip oh. slip, which she is still denying. Bet, that was not a no. nipple. Those were petals. <laughs> that was not a nipple. Both watching Top Model. Uh, top Model All-Stars. Top Model All-Stars. Who are we rooting for? Um, I like the anime girl. I can never remember her name with the huge eyes. She's mm -hmm. obsessed with blood. Dominique. Everybody um, knows this. Oh, Dominique. Yeah. Dominique. Dominique. Dominique and anime girl. Those are my favorites. Yeah. Both kind of watching the X Factor. Kind of. Uh, it's on. It's it's on during like other good shows, so it's kind of difficult. Not Nicole. What's your view on Nicole? Do you like her? Okay. I think Nicole Scherzinger is the poor man's Kim Kardashian, and she's not that talented. Like. She's a pussycat doll. She's just a hoe that dances. She has a solo album and, you know, she had a borderline hit with 50 Cent, so... <laughs> I've seen the pussycat dolls live twice. That's two more times mm -hmm. than I've ever wanted to see them, but they were opening for somebody or whatever, opening for Britney. I've had enough. Like, I've given her a chance. Just 
Ooh, Toast, I'm watching Project One Way. <laughs> Melissa doesn't watch it. I was really upset that little Oliver, um, he was voted off, so I don't have anyone to root for. He's this adorable little guy. Yeah, he's your type. Yeah. I saw that guy. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't want to see more Taylor drama, but this last episode they introduced Brandy Glanville from um, Leanne Rhymes' no, yeah, yeah, yeah. husband's ex or whatever. Um, so they introduced her, she's coming on to the show. The Jersey Shore, Snooki and Gianni, I guess, are done because he flew all the way out to Italy and then he left le like six hours later because she was being a hoe on the dance floor and he was disgusted. That's I watch cool. it all, just ask me, I watch everything. <laughs> <laughs> and now we'll throw it to once again the Courtney Stodden tweet of the week. Don't put it on me, girl. Don't put it on me, girl. No. Don't put it on me, girl. Da, 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 da. So this one comes to us from September 26th. Having a mysterious Monday morning by motioning myself to magnetic sensual melodies as I prepare for a brand new beautiful day. Meow. Meow. Don't put it on me, girl. Don't put it on me, girl. No. Don't put it on me, girl. So, if you guys have any comments about what we've talked about this week, like, I don't know, Rihanna, Courtney Stodden, um, maybe you tried the tea boss recipe, let us know. Give us some feedback. Until <laughs> next time, Lindsay. Bye. We'll have sex with, you know, Rosie O'Donnell. Ew! Just so that every time I see her on TV, I can be like, you know what? I've been there. I've done that.